Do you know who invented the concept of artificial intelligence as we know it today? It's reasonable and proper to state that without question, the father of 20th century AI was Alan Turing all the way back in the early 1950s. Without his work, would we even be able to discuss the stages of AI? Doubtful? Fast forward just 70 years and in 2023, ChatGPT has caused a phenomenal stir in the world of AI. In fact, the proposed release of GPT-5 is said to be the first step towards AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. This is the stage at which AI could learn to accomplish any intellectual task that human beings can perform. But how do we get here? And perhaps more importantly, what does it mean for the very future of humanity? The first stage of artificial intelligence was rule-based AI. This is where humans set predefined rules or logical statements for AI models to follow. These AI systems are taught to take action in response to a particular instruction. An example of this is smart lighting systems. We set a rule to turn off outdoor lights at 6 a.m. The technology follows the instruction. Simple. Another example would be email spam filters. They work by analyzing our incoming emails and comparing them to a set of predefined rules. If an email has suspicious links, specific keywords, or too many typing mistakes, the email filter will process the email away from the inbox. Some medical diagnostic tools also work like this. Once the symptoms and medical records of a patient are inputted, rule-based AI would compare the data to rules that were previously entered by medical experts in that field. The software would then suggest a possible diagnosis and treatment. But rule-based AI has limitations. It'll only work on the data it's been given. The next stage of AI was context awareness, capable of understanding context and being aware of prior interactions. Essentially, this stage of AI has the ability to retain information, just as humans do. Siri, Google Assistant, and Alexa are all operating at this stage of AI. They're all capable of understanding and memorizing previous interactions you had with them. Google and other search engines understand user context through their search history, location, or previous interactions in order to provide relevant search results on the front page. Fun fact. You're watching this video because the context-based YouTube algorithm knew you'd like it. And for that reason alone, please hit the subscribe button for more content on top AI tools. The third stage of AI was domain-specific. In this stage, AI systems can become masters in one specific subject or domain. It's comparable to the division of labor among humans, as some are experts in AI, others in psychology, medicine, law, and so on. To train these deep learning AI systems, data is taken from authentic resources like textbooks or research papers. These systems are often quicker and more accurate in answering questions related to a specific field. For example, Grammarly specializes in grammar and automatically suggests grammatical errors as a person's typing. Path AI helps in diagnosing diseases through medical images. And Google's DeepMind AlphaGo specialized in a game that was able to defeat an 18 times world title winner. Because of this, that player retired saying, even if I become the number one, there's an entity that cannot be defeated. The fourth stage is called reasoning. The word reasoning is used to describe the process of deducting logical possibilities from a situation. As we humans communicate with each other and our brains are constantly thinking, we come up with logical arguments. In AI, it's the same. The only difference is that instead of humans, now machines are making deductions based on the information it has. At this stage, AI was capable of thinking like humans and mimicking our behavior. Reasoning in AI can be performed in different ways. Deductive reasoning means to draw conclusions from general rules. Inductive reasoning by observing something, or abductive reasoning, where conclusions are drawn only based on a particular set of facts or data. ChatGPT is a good example, as it can understand what we're trying to say, make conclusions based on this information, and try to respond like a human. In fact, if you were to ask ChatGPT, are you capable of reasoning as an AI model? It'll say, yes, I'm designed to perform reasoning. Another example of this stage is self-driving cars, which use data from cameras and motion sensors to draw conclusions and make decisions, just like a human driver. So if the car sees an obstacle in its way, it's smart enough to know why and how to avoid hitting the object. These first four stages of AI fall under ANI, which is Artificial Narrow Intelligence. And given the examples provided, we can conclude that we're now moving towards the fifth stage of AI. At this point, life as we know it will never be the same. Before we move on, please make sure to subscribe and leave us a comment like, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to get back to you. AGI is currently a hypothetical stage of AI. No systems using AGI have been released for public use yet, 
but it's believed that the release of ChatGPT5 will be the first step towards achieving AGI. It's no secret that reaching artificial general intelligence is the main goal of tech companies like OpenAI and DeepMind. And as expected, when they do, artificial intelligence will be fully capable of mimicking human cognitive abilities. This is the hypothetical but increasingly likely stage of AI that will shake humanity to the core. Unlike the previous stages where AI was mostly focused on performing one task like playing chess or responding like a human, generative AI has the capacity to perform various cognitive features. It can counter-argue, understand context, and learn from previous experiences. Experts from different fields view AGI through a very different lens. Whilst computer scientists describe it as machines that can mimic human nature, psychologists define it in terms of the very survival of humanity. There's a hypothesis called existential risk, which states that AGI could result in human extinction. This possibility is considered due to the concept of survival of the fittest. The human species, Homo sapiens, survived because we were fast enough, dexterous, and developed advanced linguistic abilities. If artificial intelligence reaches AGI and develops human intelligence, it wouldn't be limited by sleep, food, or any other things humans need to survive. It's said that AI systems might interpret their objectives in ways that are harmful to humans and will continue improving independently of humans. This has led to the fear that human-driven jobs will be dramatically reduced, causing severe economic disruption and socioeconomic inequalities. For now, the debate as to whether full AGI will ever be possible continues. But a leading and well-respected futurist, Ray Kurzweil, has predicted that computers will reach human intelligence by 2029, and it doesn't stop there because AI may even become more intelligent than humans. This hypothetical phenomenon is known as artificial superintelligence, the sixth stage of AI. Surpassing human intelligence means that AI will be better than humans in virtually every aspect of life, including problem-solving, general knowledge, and ultimately, the abilities that distinguish humans from other animals. If this happens, we'd no doubt see rapid scientific progress and extraordinary technological advancement. We may even find the truths behind questions that are as yet unanswerable and develop solutions to some of the greatest challenges of our age, like population and global warming. As ASI models would at this stage be supremely intelligent, their perspective may lead to many unforeseen situations. On this matter, Stephen Hawking said, success in creating effective AI could be the biggest event in history of our civilization, or the worst, we just don't know. So we cannot know if we'll be infinitely helped by AI, ignored by it, and sidelined, or conceivably destroyed by it. Before it's too late, guys, please subscribe, and we'll keep sharing content on AI while we still can. If ASI were to continue its self-development, we may arrive at what's known as singularity. Scientists use singularity to describe the center of a black hole, where currently our laws cease to be. The unknown. In terms of AI, singularity is the hypothetical point in the future where its growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible. In 2005, Ray Kurzweil wrote a book where he predicted that AI programs will reach singularity by 2045. At this stage, they'll be capable of self-learning and developing their own technology. At this point in time, it's hypothesized that an intelligence explosion may occur, and AI may develop the capacity to build supercomputers in outer space, solve the unknown equations of our universe, and who knows, maybe even find the answer to what came first, the chicken or the egg. 